They now recommending a second booster shot for certain adults. The WMER 2 News Abby Isaacs explains how a Johns Hopkins doctor says now may not be the best time for everyone who is eligible to get that booster. Doctors didn't think we would be here so soon, discussing a second booster shot before the fall. But here we are with a highly transmissible BA2 variant, face masks coming off and gatherings going up. Knowing we're going to have a lot more potential for BA2 to infect us, I think that's where um, the CDC is hoping to be in front of a potential surge of hospitalizations by getting a second booster. The CDC now recommends immunocompromised people and people over age 50 who received their first booster at least four months ago get a second booster shot of either Pfizer or Moderna. Also, adults who got the Johnson & Johnson booster at least four months ago can now get a second booster of either of the other two vaccines. The CDC says up against Omicron, those who are boosted are 21 times less likely to die from COVID compared to unvaccinated individuals. The vaccines work when they're timed well with the surge, right? Having the most antibodies will allow patients, if they catch COVID, to keep it from becoming severe. Johns Hopkins lung doctor Panagi Scaliatsato says just because you can get one doesn't mean you need to right now. He recommends them for immunocompromised or transplant patients and people who live with them. Otherwise, he said it's all about timing. When did they get the first booster and how is community transmission? Because for many of them, what I don't want them to get is getting this vaccine, getting the booster, and have it go to waste when, the, uh, when a surge may come in a few more months. The other exception, he says, is if someone plans to travel to a place with high levels of COVID transmission. He also expects this to be a continual conversation and recommends speaking to your doctor if you have questions about when you should get the extra dose. I do think for the foreseeable future, we will be getting COVID vaccines at some frequency, maybe every four months, maybe every six months. The pandemic won't end because COVID goes away. It'll just end because we've learned to adapt to it and not have it disrupt our lives. In Baltimore, Abby Isaacs, WMAR2 News.